Hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope y'all having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, doing a what's new in Transformers. Yay, I love talking about some new Transformers. But before that, go hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me if you're new to the channel. Hit that little bell. It notifies new content. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. You know it's in the description. It's easy peasy. So let me squeeze it. Do me a favor, go check out Mr. Terry Wong. He's at Terry's TFF's Club. A wonderful man, awesome guy to deal with, man. Easy sight, man, it's easy to navigate, really nice, awesome. He's got everything for you, man. He's got Legends, he's got Third Party, he's got Hasbro, he's got knockoffs. Man, he's got you covered. Transformers galore. Man, free shipping, fast shipping, wonderful man to deal with, man. Tell him Deluxe sent you. He might even give you a virtual hug. All right. So yeah, I'm doing a what's new in Transformers. Basically, I take a you know look at some new stuff coming out. I don't have it in hand. I just like to talk about it. And we got quite a couple, quite a few things to talk about. And so let's just get right to it. All right. So up first, as always, we got add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And looks like Matrix Workshop is still working on their little add-on thing for the uh, uh, Siege Astro Train. Uh, you know, the shadow part did not look complete in the back, so they are making a little add-on, you know, fin and everything to, you know, cover all that, you know, stuff and everything. So uh, they're also trying to make it portable for the train mode also. So that's pretty cool. So you'll be able to use it for the train mode, and uh, that's pretty neat. So yeah, we got two pictures, and uh, we got one picture and a render of it. So Matrix Workshop is giving us a little add-on thing for their uh, Siege Astro Train. All right. Then up next we have a company called Ratchet Studio. Uh, they're giving us some fillers for the Siege Crosshairs. So they've already given us one for the Ironhide and the Ratchet, I think. And so now we got, you know, one for Siege. So you get a bunch of fillers for the back and it, it looks pretty good. Fills up real nice and everything, no waffles. So hey, he's doing his job. So very nice from Ratchet Studios. We're getting filler, you know, for the waffle fillers for the uh, Siege Crosshairs. And the last thing we got for uh, add-on kits is uh, a teaser from 115 Utopia. And it looks like they're gonna give us pile drivers for the Siege uh, Rumble or Frenzy, whichever one you wanna call them that week or day, whatever. So yeah, a little add-on thing for uh, the, you know, tapes and everything. So that's pretty cool, you know? It's a, a nice accessory and they always, you know, always need that stuff. So yeah, so teaser from 115 Utopia. These are some pile drivers for the Siege uh, Frenzy or Rumble. Nice. So up next we have Legends news and we got a lot of stuff, really good stuff. So up first is Mech Fans Toys Mammoth. So it looks like we're getting some new stuff. They got a new line called Space 2039. It's a new product, uh, number VP-01. Uh, Mammoth is a heavy transport vehicle. Uh, can not uh, only carry and continue the VP series, other uh, top of interactive gameplay also can be co com perfectly combined with the DA series and the Lost, Plus, Lost Planet series to play. Uh, the vehicles have variety of hidden modes, uh, endless gameplay, makes you eye opening and all that stuff. And it looks like it's gonna be a combiner. Well, that's pretty cool. So this part shows us as a leg and foot. So yeah, this is pretty cool, I guess, if you like this kind of thing. So Mech Fans Toys is giving us some new line of uh, Space 2039. Ooh. So this is Mech, Fan to Mech Fans Toys Mammoth. Also coming from Mech Fans Toys, we got some new color shots of their Sea Dragon. This is their uh, Headmaster's Highbrow. So yeah, we got some new uh, color shots of this. Uh, pretty good. Uh, Highbrow doesn't get enough love, but you know, here we go with some uh, color test shots from Mech Fans Toys Sea Dragon, also known as Highbrow. Go Headmasters, head on. And some more MechFans Toys news. We had the City, Com City Commander version two. This is the Die Clone version. So yeah, uh, you know, everybody knew it was gonna get this one because Magic Square did it. So why wouldn't MechFans Toys do it also? Uh, this is MechFans Toys uh, MF-48D City Commander version two. This is their Die Clone uh, version. So yay for MechFans Toys. All right, up next in Legends news, we have a knockoff Ultra Magnus. This company is called Cost Performance. Uh, my boy Chuck, uh, I'm reading what he, his comments and everything because I really don't know much about this. But it looks like this is going to be a uh, knockoff of the Magic Square Ultra Magnus uh, without the upgrade from Mech Fans Toys. So, yeah, we're getting a knockoff of Ultra Magnus from the Magic Square. He's a little tall. He's big boy. You know, everything. He's a little bigger than the Mech Fans Toys one, too. So, yeah, this company is called Cost Performance. I've never really heard anything. Thank you very much for Chuck for uh, pointing this out and everything. So, yep, Cost Performance, knockoff of Ultra Magnus. Next, uh, who doesn't need another Prime? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? So, Magic Square is giving us a special gold edition Optimus for the Chinese New Year. And he's gold. 
so gold. All right, yeah, that's cool. Uh, you know, the uh, New Age made one for Megatron, so you know, I wouldn't expect anything else from another company. So this looks pretty good. I'm gonna get it. The box looks really nice. Uh, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm definitely in for everything that Magic Square does and New Age and uh, Iron Factory. So yeah, the special edition gold Optimus Prime from the Chinese New Year for Magic Square. All right, gold. So you know, if we have a gold one, we have to have a clear one. So yeah, Magic Square is giving us a clear Optimus Prime. Cause why not? I love it. I think it looks beautiful. I think it looks like a nice little Jolly Rancher. Mm -mm, so lickable. Yeah, uh, they're giving us a clear Optimus Prime, which everybody's doing it now. New Age doing it. Magic Square's doing it. I love it. I love some clear Transformers. It looks, looks really good. So yeah, Magic Square is giving us a clear version of their Optimus Prime. All right. Also for Magic Square, we got some new images of their Seekers. Yay. Oh my gosh so excited man this looks really good and with starscream you know you get the coordination set and it looks like you get a lot of add-on set from that remember that episode when they were disguised as uh, autobots so you have the uh starscream as you know optimus prime kind of thing gimmick so that's pretty cool what the mp44 came with so that's neat i mean that's a nice little add-on kit you know then they showed um, a picture of uh, megatron uh, the reflector and their minosaur combined and everything and all their seekers that looks so good Man, Magic Square is coming back with some thunder. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, new picture, new pics of the Seekers, Megatron, Minosaur, and their uh, Reflector. Nice. Oh, real quick, that crown on that Starscream looks really big. I don't know about that crown. I'm I'm kind of iffy on that one, but yeah, it's still cool, you know. But the crown is a huge crown. <laughs> So moving on to New Age, it looks like we got some new images of a Reflector, which is the toy color version. So, you know, they come out with the, you know, regular tune version. So why not do the toy version also? Because, you know, that's what New Age does. So pretty cool. We're getting some new, uh, you know, they already got the recolor already made, almost already made. And they haven't even put out the original. So, you know, that's what New Age does. But yeah, new images of the New Age Reflector. And this is the toy version. All right. And also from New Age, we got some new images of Lieutenant Dan or Lieutenant Megs. Uh, yeah, so we got some new hips for uh, Megatron from their, uh, you know, Legends class and everything. So a lot of people were complaining of how the hips look. And that was really the only complaint that I could find at all. And it was a little nitpick. It wasn't too bad. But uh, New Age was listening and they gave us some new hips and legs, it looks like. And you can transform it and everything. So pretty cool. And we got one thing from Eye Factory. It looks like, you know, we're getting that cliff jumper, which is pretty cool. I think you just come out. I, I have them actually coming to me so they got a new tease for a wait for our hornet so you know i know no, everybody's surprised that you know if we get a cliff jumper on you know we're getting a bumblebee or if you're getting a bumblebee you're getting a cliff jumper i you know i know everybody's surprised about that but that's what we're getting so it says wait for our hornet and so we're probably gonna get a bumblebee out of this mold i don't know if everybody likes that but uh, i'm kind of looking forward to it I'm, I'm looking forward to this cliff jumper so all right, Iron Factory for the win. All right, moving on to MP Scale of News, and it looks like we got some interesting stuff from Lemon Tree. Yeah, that's right, Lemon Tree. So we have an image of the, you know, the Galvatron ship. Uh, we got that last week, and then on New Year's they showed us who it's gonna be. This is Purple Potato, and it's gonna be Shockwave. I know why we're getting Shockwave like this. Who knows? But we got blast effects for it. And that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, I I really don't know where they're going with, and I don't know what scale. I'm just putting this in MP scale, but because uh, it looks like it's MP scale, but who knows? So yeah, we're getting a new uh, shockwave that transforms into the Galvatron ship in the A6 movie, and from Lemon Tree. So purple potato for you. Then up next we have APC Toys, which they did the uh, kind of knockoff of the Transformers Prime line, and uh, they gave us you know the regular Prime. Now they're giving us two different versions. Uh, one is like gold and black, and then we have another one that's kind of like teal and black. So that's pretty cool. I like the colors on it. Really nice. Uh, it's not a bad toy at all. They, you know, add some more paint apps on what the Prime line did for it. Uh, so yeah, we're getting two new versions of their ACP, of ACP Toys uh, Prime from Prime. So pretty cool. So up next, we have some new images of the Big Firebird toy, Nice. This is their RC, uh, kind of a, like an anime kind of take on her. And looks pretty good. I'm definitely in on her. She, you know, that pink metallic paint looks really nice. And um, she looks pretty articulated, so I'm really excited to get her. I think she'll be coming out soon, probably after Chinese New Year. Uh, but we'll see. But yeah, this is the new images of Big Firebird toy, uh, Nice. Their RC. All right, nice. 
Then coming up next, we got some new images of Tor World's Bulldog, the Winter Edition. So yeah, I have the original Bulldog and he's pretty good. I like him, he was a really fun Transformer. So we have a winter version. It looks like he just rode around in some cocaine or something, I don't know, but this is you know all white version and looks pretty good. You know, got a lot of details and nice paint and everything. So extreme cold weather, snow coating bulldog. All right, from Toy World. And we also got some new images of MMC or Mastermind Creations uh, R40 Jaguar. This is their kind of Ravage take, our IDW Ravage and everything. And he looks like he's ready to come out. I think he should be coming out pretty soon, even probably before Chinese New Year. I know the Beast War fans are excited. You know, Stasis locking all my boys over there. Uh, they're looking really good. And, and this looks pretty good. I might be on this guy. You know, who knows, but he looks pretty nice. So this is the new images from the MMC or Mastermind Creations. This is Jaguar. Yay for Ravage, grr. And the last thing we got for third party news for the MP scale is, looks like Banana Force is giving us a Nemesis Prime. It gave us a little teaser. It says more over to come, or should have said more, more to come or something. I don't know. But anyway, it's more over to come and it looks like a Nemesis Prime uh, from their, uh, you know, their RID Prime that they've already put out and everything. So. Banana Force gave us a little teaser, so who's looking forward to this? All right, Banana Force. All right, in official news, it, look, it looks like we have some new listings in Walmart.com. All right, so Studio Series is giving us a Studio Series uh, Blitzwing, a uh, Voyager Skipjack, then a Voyager Scrapper, which, you know, them two are part of the Constructicons, I think, and a Voyager Sentinel Prime, which I think we've already known about that for a while, but now they've shown some listings of it. So we're getting a Blitzwing from the Bumblebee movie, which is really cool. I know this is not it. I'm showing the 3A1 because it's a beautiful mold, but yeah, it looks like we're getting some of that stuff. And it looks like we're getting an Earthrise Megatron, which, you know, everybody, you know, figured that out since we're getting a Prime. Why wouldn't we get a Megatron? So yeah, we got new listings for the new studio series. And then another listing in Walmart.com just came up and it looks like we're getting a Airwave, an Alicon, which, you know, goes with the Quintessons. That's pretty cool. We can build your little army of those you're getting an rc which i hope is a new mold and not the old one that we just got from uh you know um that's well siege and you know uh time returns and then we're also getting a smoke screen so we're getting an earth mode uh, smoke screen so you know that's pretty cool we already got one just recently because of you know from the prowl mold so I don't know what they're going to do with it to uh, make a new smoke screen, but you know, that's pretty cool. So we got new listings. Um, I don't know who Airwave is. I think that's a new character. Maybe I may be wrong, but it may be a little small, a little micro master or, a, you know, a, one of the battle master or something like that. But yeah, new listings for Earthrise. We got Airwave, Alicon, RC and smoke screen. And I'm really excited for the Alicon. I think that's pretty cool. Well, all right, folks, that is all the news I have for this week. It looks pretty exciting. There's some really good stuff coming up. I'm really excited for, you know, the new Earthrise stuff, the new studio series. You got that nice, you know, the RC looks really good. I'm kind of intrigued with that purple potato shockwave. I don't know where they're going with that, but we will see. And we got new legends. Oh, man, Magic Square, New Age, and Iron Factory. Man, y'all just touched my soul. So really excited for that. So I'm done with this. Will you hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears? Please go hit that sub button if you're new to the channel. And I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro, and good night, folks.